Containers are devices for creating preset instrument and effect setups and layering effect chains. Start a new project and drag melodic loop.wav onto an audio track. Open the containers folder in the browser. There are three instrument container types, drum machines, instrument layers, and XY instruments, and six audio containers, FX chains, FX layer, mid side split, multiband FX2, replacer, and XY effect. Drag XY effect onto the secondary panel area. This is a specialized container that allows us to crossfade between four different effects. Open the audio effects folder and drag the delay one effect onto the XY effect A slot. A square appears on the slot to show we've added an effect. Click the loop button in the transport section, then press the play button. Now drag the orange circle in the XY effects XY pad towards the bottom left hand corner. You'll hear that the delay effect becomes more apparent the closer to the corner it gets. Drag the reverb effect from the audio effects panel onto slot B. Click the show high presets and macros button above the cog at the bottom left hand corner of the reverb effect. Here we can load up a less subtle preset to try out the effect with. Click where it says in it at the top of the interface to bring up a list of available presets. Select falling hall by clicking on it. Now move the XY pad's orange circle between the bottom left and right hand corners to adjust the balance of the delay and reverb effects. As we already showed, it's possible to create an effect chain on a slot by simply dragging another effect onto it, but you can use containers to create even more complex effects. For example, drag FX layer from the container folder onto slot C. From audio effects, drag the filter effect onto the FX layer container twice, creating two layers. Set the mode of the second filter to high pass as shown, and turn the cutoff up to 2kHz. Now the slot has low pass and high pass filters running in parallel. We've created our own peak filter. Now moving the circle to the top left of the XY pad gives the sound a vocal quality. As we've already discussed, all containers have their own built-in macros, but XYFX has a dedicated pair of modulation sources that correspond to the vertical and horizontal position of the XY pad. Click the arrow below the letter X, then click the top filter layer and assign it to the filter's cutoff by dragging up on the latter. Click the arrow again to confirm your selection and now assign the Y macro to the bottom filter layer's cutoff. We can now control the filter's cutoffs with the position of the XY pad. If you create a setup you'd like to use again, you can save it using the file icon in the presets and macro section of the container, in this case, our XY effect. Download over 30 exclusive plugins. Get hundreds of pro quality samples and power up your production skills with in-depth tutorials. We break it down for you step by step and you'll see exactly how it's done in expert video guides and producer masterclass sessions with pro producers. Get all this and more with Computer Music Magazine every month on iPad and iPhone, PC and Mac, Android, and in print.